Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tyler and today I'm giving my opinions on the Paldea Pokemon. Let's start with Sprigatito. Okay, so I feel like Paldea's first evolution starters like Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quaxley are like super cute, adorable, and amazing. Like, I think the only... Ever okay, so the Alola final stages of the starters are amazing. I feel like they're just as good as Blastoise, Charizard, and Venusaur. You know, Primarina, Decidueye, and Incineroar are top tier. And Sprigatito, Quaxley, and Fuecoco are top tier for the first stage starters, you know? Just as good as Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur. These are amazing designs. Sprigatito is so, so cute, so adorable. It's big eyes, um, the ears, it's um, colors. It's so adorable. I I can't help but like always point out how cute it is every time I see it. Floragato is a little interesting. Um, they could have gone with like a Poos and Boots thing. It, it kind of looks like that. Um, and you know, at first I didn't like it very much, but now I like the mask, and it actually looks kind of cool. Mascarada. This one's an interesting Pokemon. I didn't like it very much, but I do like the, its mask. It's amazing. Um, you know, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I do, and I don't dislike it either. Like, like I kind of like it. It's cool. Uh, Fuecoco is super cute. It's so adorable. Everything is perfect. Crocolore is interesting. I don't really like the design. Um, of like the red spots here and the stripe down here and the hat but um but it's just so cute still it has that cute factor and I can't help but to like it Scalar Dirge is super cool it's like Typhlosion blazing and cool um it has the zigzag patterns that I like here um, it's four-legged, which I love, and it's really unique with this little bird on its nose. The colors are also interesting. I feel like the purple ha the purple has no business being there, um, but uh, it's just lacking purple in the rest of its body. You know, that's that's kind of what I don't like about that part. But its eyes are cool. Its flames, I feel like don't need to go all the way around its head it's cool if it had just charizard flames you know like like the charizard x i think um but yeah i, I mean i still like it quaxley is super cute oh its eyes it's color blue like and it's oh, i love it so much quaxwell is not as awkward as colodin i will tell you that and you know it kind of looks okay-ish I don't think it's like that ugly and Quackwaval oh it's a fighting type um okay so Quackwaval has a really handsome face and it reminds me of Blaziken um the large booty does bother me a bit because it has a really skinny waist and then its tail is all the way over here um but I do like the rest of it. Like, look at the waves down here in its feet. It, it it's like it's just like Blaziken. Its feathered arms are cool, uh, and I really like its feet. Like, it looks like it has red nail polish. It looks cool, and I don't really like the hat, but I, I it, the hat is interesting. I feel like it's not it's not ugly. Like, it could have been done worse. And it, it, Quackaball looks super cool with the rest of its peacock feathers. Um, so, I don't hate it. Um, it has features that outweigh its bad features. And that's why Quackaball is actually okay. Lechonk I did not like just because of this... Whatever this yellow thing is, it just looks like crusty eye stuff. And it looks gross. 
But the rest of the chunk looks really cute, like how round it is, how short its feet are, and its tail is like perfectly placed there. Um, I feel like its nose is a little bit too big, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't really like the chunk, but the design is good. Oinkalone, oh, I love both designs of Oinkalone. Like, I thought the female one was like amazing, and then Oinkalone was like even more amazing. It just looks like a goth pig. And it looks amazing. Sorry, both of them look amazing. It was really clever the way they did the eyes. I mean the eyes. The the ears. The way they shaped the ears here. And the tail also. Really clever. Um, and the colors. Uh, I think the colors are just so good on the male oil cologne. The female one. Um, actually, I like the female one too. I just like the male one better. Tarantula, okay, I was not really drawn to this Pokemon, even though I do like how round it is, um, I somewhat, um, I'm, I'm not liking the colors, I think the green is fine, it's just the yellowish greenish that I don't like, is it yellow? Uh, it has a cute face though, and I feel like it has too many legs, I think just three legs on each side would have been fine, um, but you know, it's it's not a bad design. Spide Ops, I don't like. I feel like Spide Ops is a little more on the bad design part. I think... I really don't like the colors of it. I think... The green is, is okay, but it's not as good as, as I want it to be. And um... I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like its tail either. It just looks like it's made of wood or bamboo or something. It just slide ups could have been done better. Um I have nothing else to say about it. I don't like spide ups. I don't like it. I I don't have one actually. That's how much I don't like it. Nimble is really cute. I, if only it was green. It just looks like it's made of steel. And it looks like a paper clip. Or not a paper clip, but like those, you know, those. I don't know what they're called. Um, but yeah, I would have preferred a green one. But other than that, I really like its the, the design on its eye and everything else about it. it looks really cool. Low kicks, I like the color scheme. It looks cool. I just don't really like its face and I don't like the legs on its back. It's kind of weird looking. Um, I kept mine as a nimble because I did not like low kicks very much. Um, so yeah, it looks cool. I think it's just not my cup of tea. Pommy. I don't like it actually. I don't like Pommy. <laughs> it's cute, I guess. I just really don't like the color nor the shape of its arms i i think the only part i like is the eyes the eyes is the only part of, that i like so yeah the pommy is a no for me pomo okay that was like so disappointing right to see pommy evolve into pomo um i like pomo's eyes i like its tail its colors are better yeah, I don't know. I like Pomot a lot, actually. I feel like Pommy and Pomo should not have existed, and Pomot should have been its own. Because um, I do like all the, the fur up here and around its neck. Um, its hands actually look cool with it standing up. And I, it still has the cute eyes as well. Like, I like Pomot a lot. Tandem Mouse. Um, it, this was a really interesting Pokemon. Like, I really like the the trio Magnemite aspect of Pokemon. I don't like it actually. I d don't like that idea. But I just like what Game Freak will come up with next for the for that idea. Um, so Tandemos is actually kind of cute. Um, it's very bland. But it's just, just it's cute because there's two of them, <laughs> and one's wearing a shirt, one's wearing pants. 
and yeah, you just, they're cute. They're cute. There's like, this is like an example of a really basic, basic design that is so great. Uh, mouse hold um, is actually really, really good, really clever. I really like it. I like the idea. The, the Pokemon itself is really cute. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, Fido, I don't like very much. Even though I love food, I just don't like Fido's face. Nor the back part of it. Dash bun is actually really cute. I like those eyes. I feel like those eyes should be used more. Um, it has the snout that I like, and I like the colors a lot, and all the fur it has on it. Um, I just don't like the little fold things on its back. Um, I think that's the only part I find gross about it. But yeah, I really like Dash bun a lot. It reminds me of Arcanine for some reason, even though they don't really look that much alike. No Growlithe. Um, but I just, yeah, I love Dash Bun. Uh, Small Liv, I don't like very much. It's weird face, I think. And you know what? I love how unique its face is to this Pokemon. I, I don't think that face is used a lot. But it just, it reminds me a lot of a Digimon's face. I think Digimon have that face a lot more. Um, uh, but yeah, small of simple first stage. It's it's great for a first stage. Dolive, I love it's it's excellent. I really love the design, the the way they use the olives here, and it's just really pretty. Arboliva is interesting. Um, I don't really understand what it is. It looks beautiful though. Um, I just. If only they kept some aspects of Dolive and carried it over to Arboliva. But, you know what, I don't know. Arboliva is beautiful. I think the design is good. I think it's just not my cup of tea. Squawkabilly, I love that it comes in four colors. I love the yellow, blue, and the green one. I don't really like the white one. Um, and I feel like its um, hair up here could have been done better. Um... But I do like the rest of its design. Knackly is really interesting. It reminds me of t the mushroom from Mario. And, um... Or I was going to say Mario Kart. I don't really play Mario. Um... And I, you know, and I don't I don't dislike it. I like it, actually. Knackle stack is very weird. But I do like how it's on four feet. Um... And yeah, I accept its oddness of the design. Garkonaka looks really cool. I, like, I would have never thought of this. And um, I love the layers of the colors. See, that's how... Uh, is it crustal? That's how it should have been made. Um, yes, I really like this one. Charcadet is really cute. Um, I really like the fire design here. They did really good with that. And the fires up here. I think everything's really good. It's nicely done. Armor Rouge is really cool. I, you know, I like the other one better. But now I really like Armor Rouge a lot more. Um, yeah. It, it looks really cool. The colors. The shapes. It's nice. Cerro Ledge. The colors are great. The shape is great. It's really good too. Tad Bulb, I think it's kind of dumb, but not as dumb as Timple. Tad Bulb is actually better <laughs> in my for me. You know, it it doesn't have the peach base that I dislike so much. Um, it looks like a light bulb and a tadpole. So there you go, Tad Bulb. Um, you know, it has a cute base. <laughs> I, I would have preferred. The light bulb without the tail, actually. I would, I really would have preferred that. Belly bolt, uh, but I will say I do like the colors. Oh, tad bolt. Belly bolt, I love. I like the colors. Um, I just don't like its face. I think the fake eyes would have should have been its real eyes. Like it reminds me of something from Spirited Away, and that's why I loved belly bolt so much. Um, 
but now knowing those are fake eyes i don't see it the same i also don't like the belly button electric thing i don't like it but i do like i like how squishy belly bolt is um it's cute um yeah i have a hard time with belly bolt because there's a lot of good things about it but there's also equally bad things about it that i don't like and so yeah i keep changing my mind about it watch roll is very basic very normal i don't like it excuse me wait i don't love it i don't love it i like it and i want to love it but i mean i don't know what else they could have done to make it better you know i it already has the nice yellow part here i think it's maybe it's just its eyes yeah um but yeah it's already it's good Kilowattro looks so cool. You gotta admit, it looks so cool. Um, it looks like a better version of Swallow. And it's huge too. It's scary. Um, it's a really good design. The colors are great. The, the, the usage of color is great. The shape is great. Mastiff I really don't like. I don't understand why they had to make its face sideways. I don't like the color of it either. Um, it reminds me of a hyena, and if only it had hyena colors to it. Mabostiff is actually really cool, it, rem it reminds me of my dog now. Um, but I do like the, the zigzag patterns it has over here. Um, I do like its face, the eyebrows, and the colors are really good too. Mabostiff is awesome, they really they did a good job with this one. Shrudel is so weird, I don't know what it is. I thought it was like a bug type Pokemon, but... I don't see how it's a mouse. Um, I can't say I like the colors, and I don't like its big eye, or and I don't know if that's its tongue or its teeth. I don't really like Shrudel. It's just I don't know what it is. If, if only they could have made it better. I think its face, its eyes are too big for the rest of it. Yeah. Grafii, I did not really like that much at first, but now having one, I really like it. Um, I like the, the, the colors on its fingers. I, I love pink and blue. Um, its whole um, design idea, uh, like it's clear. It's one of those like hooligans or delinquents or, you know, artists with graffiti with like you know the mask the spray paint mask or whatever um and and i guess a monkey or a lemur or some sort uh in there and yeah uh I, 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 its eyes are unique and i like its tail i feel like uh the the hair on top here in the front could have been done differently um but other than that i really like it and it is it looks like a mid-stage evolution rather than a final form so I don't know how I feel about that. Bramblim, it's super simple and I love it so much. It's like, it's clear. I know what it is. I know what it's based on. And, you know, it it looks good as is already. It's not lazy. I like it. Um, Bramblegast is very nice. Uh, I love all the, the shapes it has and the colors are good too. Um, it's just genius. I really like Bramblegast. Um, Toad School, I don't really like very much. It creeps me out the way it walks. And, um, I'm not so sure about the pink and yellow colors either. Toad School looks really, really cool. Um, it looks like something that came out of space. And, um, I, I like it actually. I like Toad School a lot. Cloth, I love it so much. They did, they did a really good job with it. Um, it sometimes the small pincers bother me, but you know what? That's the way it is. Um, yeah, I, I like cloth a lot. Caps the kid, I don't like very much. Um, I like its eyes though; they're very unique. I don't think these eyes have ever been used po in Pokemon. Um, I do like the color of it. Um, Caps the kid, it's perfect name for this thing i think it's just a little lacking in color and maybe it needs some more leaves or something to make its shape a little more recognizable 
and dramatic. Scovelin looks like a mid-stage evolution to me. Um, I think its arms are a little too little. And I do like the two twin heads, you know, one green, one red. I like it looks really cool. And the teeth uh, made out of seeds is a genius. They kept the unique eyes. Um, and I like the colors. Like it, it has a darker green on the bottom and a, a lighter green here in the middle. I really like Scoblin. It's pretty solid and its tongue is very funny. It's like the kind of tongue you use when someone like eats like spicy food and, and it, their tongue is all like burning. Relor I love so much, I just don't like its face. Other than that, it, it's fun. Uh, Rabska is interesting. Um, I do like the, the, the blue part over here. I don't really like its face, but it's better than Relor's face. Uh, and I like Reller's mud ball than this psychic ball thing. Um, I think Reller and Rabska are Unova type Pokemon for some reason. I feel like I just put all the ugly Pokemon as Unova, but I don't know. I don't think that's fair. I think I think uh, Unova is just unique, and I feel like Reller and Rabska are that type of unique. Little is really cute. It reminds me of a jellyfish, a jumbled jellyfish, and I thought it was going to be a jellyfish. So I captured a flittle and his pathra separately. <laughs> um, yellow and pink is really hard to pull off, but you know, it looks good on flittle. His pathra looks really cool. It has the Sia hair, and its colors are great. Um, yeah, it looks like it's wearing a dress. I love it. Tinka Tink is a good design. It's cute. Makes sense. Tinka Tuff is my favorite. I love the ponytail and the hammer thing is just so cool. Uh, and its pink color is also really good. Tinkaton, I don't like as much as Tinka Tuff only because I think it has too many fingers. I think Tinka Tuff has the perfect amount of fingers. Um, and I do like the ponytail that Tinka Tuff had. It, it was really cute. I feel like maybe Tinkaton should have had the ponytail and Tinka Tuff should have had the two pigtails. Um, I do like the color of Tinkaton though and the way they used it on her hair um, and I love the giant hammer. It's amazing. It's a really good design. I love it. Wiglet. I, th I think Wiglet is cute, you know? Um, after seeing someone making a, a Wiglet design that had fins on its back and a different face, like a, it had a barboge face and you know what? I liked that design so much more than this one. This one just it looks lazy now um, and I don't like how, how Wiglet is based on Dugtrio even though it's considered a different species. If only Wiglet should have stayed a Wiglet and Wugtrio should have been something else. Um, but Wiglet is cute. Wugtrio looks very gross. Very gross. I don't like the red. Um, yeah, I don't like Wugtrio at all. I think it's one of the worst Pokemon ever. I do like the rock though. <laughs> um, Bombardier is really cool. I love the colors of it. it. It looks so majestic and graceful. If only it was a water type. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. Finizen is so cute. It They delivered on the dolphin Pokemon. This is perfect. 100% perfect. Um, yeah, it's cute. Palafin, I don't know what they were thinking with this. Why did they do that? Okay, so I don't really like the heart on its chest. I would have preferred if it was on the side, maybe. Um, and as for the hero form, I don't like it either. I think it's okay if it didn't have its two leg fins tied together like that. <sighs> the room, I don't like very much. I do like the design though, the, the, the concept of it. Um, I think it's just not my cup of tea. It looks solid though, I like it, like as, as its design. Um, but yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. Rever Room, um, I don't like this one. I think the only part I like is the zigzag patterns here on its mouth thing, but the rest of it I do not like. I feel like it could have been done better. 
Um, I don't like it. I, I feel like its design is okay. And the colors are okay. But yeah, I wish it, it was done differently. And it looks like a mid-stage form too. Cyclozar is actually really cute. Um, I love the colors and the size of it. If only we can actually ride it in the game. Um, and yeah, it's a good design. Solid. Orthworm, I really like so much. They could have done the eyes on the side and it would look cuter, but then it would have been kind of boring, I guess. So the two eyes so closely together in the front like that, it's just really unique. And I feel like it adds more personality to Orthworm. It's cool how it's a steel type, but not a ground type. Um, I really like it. Glimmit is really cute. I really like it. And its eyes, it looks like a lily, a modern day lily. And I, I love the, the rock petals every, in its shape. I, I really like Glimmit so much. Glimora is very interesting. Um, I designed a Pokemon, a fake Mon. <laughs> it's something similar to that. But, you know, mine is better. But, and Glamora, you know, I sometimes just like the colors, sometimes I like it. It's face, sometimes I like, sometimes I don't. Um, and it's design concept, sometimes I like, sometimes I don't. And, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a debatable design. Grievard is actually really cute. I love its colors. The candle is genius. I would have never thought of that. Um, the zigzag mouth is amazing and yeah, it's it's like perfection. Houndstone is interesting. It's very creepy looking with the tombstone and the long hair and the oversized bottom half of the mouth and the nose is completely missing now and it's made of bones like it's creepy and I love it. And the colors are good too. Yeah, it's good. Flamigo. I don't know what they were thinking with this part of the neck. Why? I like how it looks like a boxing glove and I love its the, the neck and the head and, and then the, the, the legs are fine too. I like the legs. Um, I like the shape of all of it and the color I, I like a lot as well. Um, you know, uh, many people say it's a lazy design but um, I like it because it could have been done worse. It could have been so bad. And I'm glad that it's decent and normal. Um, you know, I have that, at least that. Um, yeah, because sometimes I feel like you only get one shot at a Pokemon, like an elephant or a zebra or a giraffe. You know, it's not like dogs and cats that there's many different Pokemon of that species. So if you get something that's plain, like Flamigo, that's a good thing because you don't want to be stuck with something ugly and that you hate so much you know Sitaro I don't like very much um it, it's not unique its hands are very long I don't like it I think the Titan could have been well on its own um I like the horns uh its colors are really good actually um, and its eyes and its mouth is really unique. So yeah, so Titan is an amazing design. Veluza, I love its design as well. The sharp teeth, the, the spikes and the colors. Everything about Veluza is really, really good. Um, uh, yes, uh, I feel like uh, Sparascuta is a... Uh, because Veluza also kind of reminds me of Barracuda, and Veluza looks a lot better than Barracuda, so I really like Veluza. Don Dozo is so cool. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks so cool. It looks like a gulper eel and a catfish mixed together. And I really love its colors. I'm so glad it's its normal color and not its shiny color. I love it. I love it so much. And its size too, like crazy. Um, Tatsugiri, I love how cute it is. It has cute eyes and the orange, uh, the darker orange on the, the yellow, like 
that pattern, this circle oval zigzaggy pattern it has, like, I really like it. And um, the red one is cool too, and the yellow one is also cool. Um, I love how it comes in different colors. And um, I like the orange one the best. I think it's just because of that, the zigzaggy circle orange stuff it has going on the pattern. Um, the red one does have a really nice expression on its face though. I will say that. Um, Annihilate is really cool. And uh, it's just so, like, I don't know how they came up with this design for Primeape. Um, but I like how scary looking it is. Um, Claude's Eye is so cute. Like, they could have messed up, but they didn't. Quagsire and Clawzire are both really cute Pokemon and very different from each other. Yeah, you see, like, why didn't they do this with Wug Trio, you know? Farigaraph. Actually, I really like how they didn't do what everyone was hoping it would be. Like, I've seen so many designs of giraffe rig evolutions where it has its head and then it's the head on its tail grows longer and then it's like two-sided giraffe. But I never liked that idea. So I'm glad they went this way where the tail is fused with its actual head and it looks really out of this world and interesting. And I love how they kept the horns and they, they made four of them. It looks, it looks amazing. That was my favorite part of giraffe rig. Um, the horns and, and and the tail so i'm glad they kept both and i'm glad they made it better um uh you know it doesn't bother me that it doesn't have a tail anymore i think it's just fine and it's um uh, size is awesome um i think i still like giraffe rig just because of the tail uh, the zigzag mane on its neck and the um, the split pattern on its body that was brown and yellow i think Ferrigraph does not have those things um so sad about that but yeah my favorite part is definitely the the horns and the head up here um the dun sparse what is this i've seen so many cool looking Evolutions for Dunspars. And you know what? This is... It's not bad. It's not bad. Um... It's not bad. <laughs> um, I do like the colors they use down here and the little pattern it has. Um, and I don't know why, but that blue thing on its tail... I like it, actually. Um, I don't like the three spikes down here. I like the two. Just just when it had two. Um, yeah. Uh, it could have done worse. So, King Gambit. I don't know what this thing is. I. It's not my cup of tea. Um, but I never really liked uh, the Sharp and the other one. Um, so... I did not have high hopes for King Gambit. Um, I, I didn't even know it was getting an evolution, actually. But you know what? I do like this little detail on the side of its sword on its head. Um, and it looks a little more bearable in some way. Like, I did not like Bisharp's um, blades on its stomach. I felt like it was always awkward. Um, King Gambit has them in a cool looking way. Um, it looks like a cockroach mix with a knife. <laughs> and I don't know if it's that, if it's supposed to be that, but uh, I don't know. I personally don't care about King Gambit. Um, so I'll leave that up to you. Great Tusk looks really cool. I love the colors of it and everything about it. I think maybe it's space I don't like as much now, but um, I love the tusks though, like, and the the pink fluff on its legs. It's so cool. 
scream tail um it's actually really cute i love its yellow eyes um and that the hair I like it brute bonnet i don't really like this thing um it looks cool but when i start looking at everything it's just like no why <laughs> especially in the game i think in the game it looks weirder um, Fluttermane, I actually don't like Fluttermane at all. I don't like the pieces of feathers up here. And I don't like its eyes or anything. I don't like it. They could have done better with, with this thing. Slitherwing looks really cool. It looks very different from Volcarona. I wish Fluttermane was different from Ms. Drivis in a little more drastic way. Um, Slitherwing really does look prehistoric and um, yeah it, it looks so unique it looks good oh I hate sandy shocks I hate this thing so much why does this thing need to exist it does not look prehistoric it, I thought it was from the future actually um, I don't like it. This thing. Let's pretend this thing doesn't exist, okay? Iron treads. Um, it looks cool. I just don't like its face. Um, and I have nothing else to say about that. Iron bundle. I don't really like it, but I don't hate it. It's just there, really. Iron hands. I think is really cool. I don't like Hariyama very much, but Iron hands actually looks really cool. Can we pretend this is actually Hariyama? Um, I like the colors as well. It looks so good. Iron Jugulus. I wish this thing was more drastic than in Hydreigon. It just looks the same. Just a toy version of it is what it looks like. Um, I don't like it. Iron Moth looks really cool. I love its floaty wing things and the shape of it as well. Um, I like the colors. It looks really good actually. I like Iron Moth a lot. Iron Thorns is cool. Um, it looks like a McDonald's toy of Tyranitar. Um, fused with some Dino Knight power. And um, I do like its colors. I feel like it's better than Tyranitar. However, I don't know. I think it's just a tad bit cooler than Tyranitar, I feel like. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like Iron Lords. Oh, what is this? Frigibax? I don't like this thing, actually. It looks very ugly looking. It also reminds me of the shark from Scooby-Doo. It was, it was a man that was in a shark suit that was chasing them on two feet, I think. I don't like Frigibax. It's very ugly looking. Ar Arctibax is kind of ugly looking too, but I do like the sail on its back. Um, and... Um, yeah, there's not much I could do about it. I, I like the sale. <laughs> Baxcalibur. Uh, it's okay-ish, I guess. I don't like the Jordigan pattern down here. Um, the spike in its back, I, if only it was more like art to Bax. Um, but you know what? It's fine for what it is. And its face is a little bit longer than art to Bax, so I'm glad about that. But if only it had a crocodile snout. But I'm... Um, Whatever, it's fine. It's not like Frigibax, and that's fine with me. Gimme Ghoul is interesting. Uh, I do like what it is, actually. Um, I like the colors as well. Um, if only it would have evolved into something more ghostly and ghouly and creepy. But that's not what we got. So hopefully later on we'll get a branch evolution of it. Um, I like the chest form better than this, the roaming form. I think Gimme Ghoul itself is just uh, not special enough. Golden Go. <laughs> um, I like it. And it looks like a golden pseudo widow to me actually. And I like pseudo widow. So therefore I like Golden Go. Mm. Yeah. 
Oh, I haven't seen these actually. <laughs> I'm spoiling myself right now. Wochian. Let's see. Looks like a snail, a slug, uh, with a shell made out of wood, and a mountain, and a fountain, and it has so many leaves on it. I really like it, actually. <laughs> I really like it. It's a dark grass. Oh my gosh, I'm spoiling myself as, as well. Alright, well, it's a dark grass, and it looks, it does look like a dark grass. I like it a lot. Very unique. Qian Pao. Oh, dark ice type. Are they all dark types? Oh, wow. Okay. Um... Shinpa looks so cool. If only it was ordinary, like an average Pokemon, I, I really like it so much. I want it. The saber tooth parts look cool. The ice crystals, the colors, and the, the shape of it as well. I, I love it so much. Ting Lu is very interesting. Um, it looks like a catapult mixed with a moose. Um, I like the colors of it. Uh, yeah. It looks cool. Shi Yu. I like the colors of this thing and it looks really cool. I I love it so much. Yeah. It looks like it could be a pre-evolution. And see, that's what I like about it. Not every Pokemon needs to look so... Like, detailed and, and, and complicated to be like a strong final evolution. Sometimes simpleness like this is good roaring moon i think it's too complicated i do like its wings though <laughs> i love how they kept the wings of um of a uh, mega solomons it just looks so much cooler than the average solomons but i really don't like the colors of roaring moon i don't like its face nor its tail the black part of its wings i guess yeah uh the wings is the only part that i like Iron Valiant is okay, I guess. Um, I never really liked... What's that? Gallade? I never really liked Gallade. And Guard of War was always just okay to me. Um, so I don't care much for Iron Valiant. Um, yeah. I do like the sword thing. Like, wow. And that's very futuristic of it. Coridon looks really cool. I love the feathers and everything. Oh, so colorful. Maridon looks so futuristic. I love the electricity and and the colors of it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that's it. That's all. That's the Paldea Pokemon. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching. And yeah, I guess I'll make another one of these videos for Gen 10. Let's get excited for that. All right.